Hello and welcome back to another YouTube uh, video and we're gonna solve a lead code problem, easy problem. It should be easy. Um, it's gonna be last, a length of last word. We have got a string which has a sequence of characters and we want to find the length of last word in this string. The string containing spaces and non-spaces. Um, so now we're gonna need to find an algorithm to loop through this kind of string or maybe we don't even need the loop and get the last uh, the last words count so for example this example one hello world the last word is word which is as a human being I can see the, <laughs> the word but computer doesn't see this word so we need an algorithm how can we do it? Uh, one way I think we can loop backward loop backward is probably the easiest way and straightforward let's see if we loop backward until we hit for example a space yeah once we hit a space then we know that our last word is finished and it's done but what happens if there is no space like for example the word is the only word is just hello or word then we need to check if the loop is ended we return the same value as yeah if the loop is ended then we can c return the count we have calculated right so for example if we're looping backwards then we hit a space that's not correct then we should then we should like use an in the variable to determine if we hit our first uh, our last element or not and if we hit our last element then we were gonna loop until we hit either space or we exceed our loop by going for example negative if we're looping backward and then we we would return we would finish our loop and we would return the result so that's the problem I think and that's the solution let's try to solve it um, we're gonna loop backwards so I'm gonna need the index of of the string lens provides a size so we're gonna decrement by one and we're gonna make we need the count of the string which is gonna double by zero and we will need a boolean for determining if we have have found our last word or not and it will be default by force we're gonna look backward so in equal zero and we need to decrement it so we cannot forget it backward now let's see um, what should we do in the loop if it's the short at the if the current character doesn't equal space then what we do here we found our element and we should increment our count by one now if it's not space we do this two command we found our last element and we increment the count but if it's not space i mean if it's a space then what we do then we need another condition right. we found lost word we found the lost word and it's a space like in this case 
then we can say we have we have found our last element and we return the count of lost world but if it's not but if it's not returned in this loop then we probably hit our limit in this loop not probably we're like ending has become negative and our end variable become negative so we will have to return the count whether it was an an, uh, an array uh, i mean uh, whether it was our word for example if it's just hello or maybe we didn't find anyone and we returned zero so let's try the solution and it works let's submit and see other test cases all right which is nice of 100% and it's true I really don't like the percentage because I feel like the it's just fluctuating but that's our solution and that's it and I hope I see you in next video. See ya.